It seems the high command of the Congress party has not learned much despite the continued downfall in several states. Kerala, one of its remaining strongholds, may follow soon enough. In a recent controversial decision, the high command tried to impose its own Rajya Sabha candidate, Srinivasan Krishnan, on Kerala. However, the state unit is refusing to budge on the matter this time around. Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee KPCC, President K. Sudhakaran visited Rahul Gandhi along with M. Liju, the candidate backed by the state leadership to convince the centre leadership of the importance of listening to local demands. Srinivasan, the 58-year-old Thrissur native and National Congress Secretary in charge of Telangana, emerged as a possible candidate just a few days ago. Once the news broke, the state leadership did not hesitate to express its displeasure. Meanwhile, the state congress unit is also not united behind M. Liju, who had unsuccessfully contested the assembly elections in the past. Senior Congress MP, K. Muralidharan, has written a letter to Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi that those who have been unsuccessful in assembly elections should not be considered for the Rajya Sabha ticket. While saying that he was not against Liju, the MP said that there should be a criterion nevertheless. The final decision may as well rest on MP A.K. Antony, who is leaving the position he has held for a while. Meanwhile, a senior Congress leader maintained that it was time the Congress party thought differently. It has been a long time since a woman was sent to Rajya Sabha. We speak about equality and empowerment. The change should begin within, and the party should consider a woman candidate instead, said the leader. Organization